Hi everyone, we're back with our tape dispenser project and we need to create our next component. So we're going to come into our file, we need to hit create new component, you can also click it up here, um, and our, we already have our main body selected here in our browser, so we don't need to change the parent, but we do want to change the name. So this is going to be the dispenser. So this will be the actual dispenser itself, or at least most of it. Um, from here, we need to create a sketch on the front plane. So the same one that we were using from before. We want to use the spline and the dimension tool uh, to create a certain curve. So I'm just going to start somewhere out to the side. We're going to just click to put these dots down. And then let's pan a little bit and I'm going to click here and finish. And we have this general shape. I'm going to use the dimension tool to actually give measurements to all these pieces. So from this first dot to the origin, vertically, that needs to be 10 millimeters. All right, from the first dot to the second dot, vertically, is going to be 25. All right, we're going to just keep doing verticals for now. From the origin to this third dot is going to be... There we go. It's going to be five millimeters. All right. So the next one from our origin is going to be 30. All right. And then we have these two, which is going to be, there we go, seven away. All right. We need to do our horizontal. So we have, oh, from the origin to our original dot is going to be 90. This is going to be a little messy looking, but it'll get the job done. From our first dot to our second dot is going to be 50. Okay, from second to third, it's going to be 75. All right, from third to fourth here, it's going to be 55. All right, and from there to the end needs to be 70. All right, we are missing, I think, this one measurement here, though. So let's grab our dimension tool one more time. We're going to have that dot, second to last dot to the end, should be 25. All right, there we go. So each of our main dots here should have a vertical and horizontal component. Um, the only thing would be this very last one should be in line with your origin. Um, if it's not already, there's a couple ways you can do that. Um, in this case, this one already is. Um, for the most part, you could do a dimension, you can do a horizontal um, constraint. Either way, whatever works. All right, we're gonna finish the sketch. We need to create an offset plane as well. So I'm going to go back to my home view and I'm going to go to the construct and hit offset plane or that's the first one that's up here usually you could do that as well. Um, we want to choose our top plane so which would be a little tough to select sometimes so our top plane right there and we want to offset it down 90 millimeters. So I'm going to put negative 90 and hit enter. All right. Now we want to create a box. So we actually haven't used the primitives yet. So I'm going to come into the create panel, choose a box, and we want to choose our new plane that we had created. So this technically <laughs> is a little bit of a roundabout way of doing it. Um, this is just to really get us to be able to use some of these other tools that we wouldn't have been able to use. All right, so I want to switch to my top view just for the sake of getting the general size down. Um, we want these to be 80 wide and 250 long. All right, if we go back to our home view, you'll see it's kind of moved around. We want this height to be 30. Come on. Our height would be 30, there it goes. Um, we can drag if we wanted to change the measurements that way. Um, we could change the plane if you wanted to. There's a whole bunch of things you can do in here. 
Um, but otherwise, we're going to hit OK. Um, if yours, like mine right now, is not aligned, <laughs> we do need to do that. Um, so, a few things. We could move it. Until it lines up. And until it lines up. So our tape should be in the middle, and our spline should end at either end. All right. We now have most of the base here so that we can try and use our replace face tool is really what we're getting to. So we need to create a surface from the spline, though. So I'm going to go to Surface tab up here in the, in the ribbon, which we haven't done before. And we're going to extrude this spline to two sides. All right, our first side, the side that's going further away, needs to be 50 millimeters. Oops, this one's flipped. Okay, so this would probably be backwards for me right now. So this will be 30, this one will be 50. Um, you may need to flip yours around, um, but long story short, it should line up with all your pieces here. We're going to hit OK. All right. That was the only thing we needed to do in the surface part of our ribbon, so we're going to go back to solid, we're going to go down into modify, and we're going to replace the face. So the source face is the top of the box, the target face is the new spline that we had made. And once you click on both of those, it should automatically show you what it should look like now. Um, again, technically we could have done a sketch with this shape and the box and then just extruded that. Um, but this at least gives us a little bit of practice with some of those modify tools. All right, so now we have our general shape. We do want to extend this right hand side a little bit. So I'm going to hit extrude, click on that side. We're going to extrude it to 10 millimeters just to add a little bit of length on this edge. All right, once we're here, we do need a tangent plane. So I'm going to come into Construct and grab a tangent plane, and I'm actually going to click on my tape here. So I'm going to click on my tape. We want to leave it at zero degrees because we want it to be parallel to our top. All right. Once we have our new tangent plane, I'm going to create a sketch on that plane that we just made. All right. And we need to make a box. So this box at the moment is just going to go somewhere in the middle here, and then we'll dimension it in a moment. Um, this needs to be 40 tall and 130 across. And then I'm gonna grab my dimension tool and I'm gonna dimension for where this is gonna be located. So the corner to the corner here, horizontally is gonna be 40 millimeters. And then again, from our corner to our corner, vertically this time is gonna be 20 millimeters. So this should basically be centered vertically and a little pushed to the side um, horizontally. All right, now we're gonna finish this sketch going to come back to our home view hopefully. <laughs> All right, and we are going to extrude that rectangle down through our object. We need this to be a negative 95 millimeter cut, but if you notice, we lost our tape. Our tape has disappeared. So we need to go into this objects to cut and uncheck our um, tape and our tape roll bodies so that it doesn't cut through them. If you notice again, when I click these, they come back. So we're gonna hit okay. So now we have a little cut down into our dispenser. So at this point, I really like to change the display settings. So I'm gonna come down to display settings here, go to visual style and do shaded with hidden edges so that I can see these inner corners inside this box. All right, um, now we want to fill it. We're gonna go grab our fillet tool we're going to grab some of these inner corners, those two inner edges that we just cut down into, and we want this to be a 20 millimeter fillet. So now if I turn this a little bit, we can see these nice rounded corners that are cut down into the shape. Okay, um, now we have, we need to make a mid plane so that we can create um, a mirror a little bit later on. So I'm going to come into construct, we're going to do a mid plane, and I want it to be parallel to our front, but in between across the side. So I'm going to hit the front, I'm going to hit the back. If you notice here, now we have a plane directly in the middle. All right, as you can tell, we have our mid plane now in between our front and our back. 
All right, at this point, I also really like to hide some things to make life a little bit easier. So I'm gonna come in, actually, we don't need to do that right now. We'll do that a little later. Um, we can use our draft tool. Uh, so I'm gonna come up to modify, grab our draft tool. All right, and this one, we're gonna have our pull direction from our bottom and our face be this front side here, all right? And we're gonna have this be five degrees. Okay, we can do negative five to have it cut down. If you wanted to see, we can also flip and do five this way, and it does the same same thing for us. Uh, in this case, we can hit okay. And here's here's where I wanted to show before I hid the surface. So since we made our surface, our surface actually isn't going to be interacting the same way as the solid body. So in this point, this is where I do go in, open our dispenser, open our bodies, and hide our surface. Okay, we have our draft now where the bottom is a little wider than the top. We want to mirror that onto the other side. So I'm going to go into our create. We're going to go down to mirror. And we want to have our faces, so our object is going to be this front face, and our mirror plane is that mid plane that we had made. If you see here, it's previewing like it's going to slice across here. We hit OK, and now it's the same on both sides. All right, we have another draft to do, so I'm going to do draft again. All right, this time I'm going to choose the right and the front. And it's already kept our five degrees, so this should be making the back a little wider. So if we go to the top just to see, our left-hand side over here is a little wider than the right. So that is correct. Um, you could do a mirror again, or for practice, since we haven't really used draft very often, um, we can come over here and do it again, but on the back. If we click again, it should still have defaulted to our five, it's making the left side wider than the right and we can hit okay all right now we can go hide the mid plane that we were just using so in here we can just hit our little visibility and hide it and close some of these up all right now we want to chamfer the whole bottom surface of our piece so far so we're going to come into modify hit chamfer click the entire bottom this is going to be to 15 millimeters and hit okay and then we're gonna fill it these top rails on the top edge of our shape and this is gonna be to 10 all right now we have much smoother of a shape I am going to change my display settings at this point for the moment back to just visible edges so we can see a little better we have our chamfer at the bottom fill it at the top all right almost there we're going to create an offset plane so offset plane from the bottom surface we want this to go up all right and this is going to be going 30 millimeters up into the shape so if you see here it's up inside the shape that we've made so far i'm going to hit okay all right and now we're going to do something new we're going to split this body so we need to split this into two bodies we're going to click on our dispenser and then our splitting tool is that plane we just made and we're going to hit okay all right i'm going to come back in here and hide this plane because we don't need to look at it anymore and if you notice now if we opened bodies again for the dispenser we now have two solid bodies here and now we actually want to make a new component from this new body we're going to right click on it and hit create components from body All right and as you notice it pops up here now we have a component four so we're going to rename these since now it's not just the dispenser so if i double click this is going to be dispenser top All right and i'm going to come in here double click this is going to be dispenser bottom all right, and this is it at this point. We will do some more changes to both of these components a little later on, but for right now, we're gonna pause.